WTFNN. Headline News Update. What's going on, everyone? This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. This is the 4 p.m. stock market update. Well, today we were all waiting for, of course, yeah, the FOMC. Powell spoke. We got a 50 basis point rate cut. They are uh, anticipating uh, an overnight rate of 4.4 4 by 2024, the end of this year, and then a 3.4 by the end of 2025. Let's see what the market's kind of doing. Well, at least the futures are off about 0.37. We're still high right now, right? I, I think the setup for this week is still, you know, probably movement higher, right? You have the gold contract off about 0.59%, trading at 2,680. Uh, you have the you have copper, excuse me, you have silver coming down a little bit as well. So finishing off about 2.4% at 30.22. The Dow Jones Industrial off about 0.25%. The composite off about 0.31% itself. Let's see, we're... I don't know what is going on with this load. Yeah, I just want to look at steel dynamics. I was seeing how you know projected easing, uh, kind of or you know easing monetary policy might in fact, uh, excuse me, affect. It's time for the end of the day, right, folks? Steel dynamics. Now let's talk. Take a look at this quickly before the day ends. The tub, man. The tub. Off. Oh man, trading at fifty cents. Yeah, Tupperware files for bankruptcy after struggling with weak sales. Assuming that's really going to be because you can just buy the same thing from other people uh, for way cheaper. Tupperware filed for bankruptcy uh, while at odds with some of its lenders that have, okay, pushed it to acquire its brand name and other assets through a foreclosure outside of Chapter 11. It's court papers show lenders, including Stonehill Capital Management, okay, and a Bank of America trading desk recently acquired the company's $800 million in outstanding loans for between three and six cents on the dollar. Lender Group argued the company earlier this month that an out-of-court foreclosure would minimize disruption to its operations. Tupperware disagreed and filed for Chapter 11 right on in the U.S. bankruptcy court. Man. That's crazy. End of an era, guys. Yeah, anyways. Um, I know some people actually emailed me about the OPEC uh, paper that I had. If you want that, just let me know. I'm going to send it to you guys right now. Folks, thank you so much for joining me. We're going to be joined by Tommy O'Brien uh, at 9 a.m. tomorrow for the morning market kickoff. Then we have Basil Chapman after that for the Tire Technicians Hour, Steve Rhodes, Larry Pesavento, and then I'll be on tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern Time with Tim Ord. Thank you so much. I hope you all have a great rest of your day.